Type 2 diabetes, also known as adult onset diabetes, is a metabolic disorder characterised by high blood glucose. Obesity is thought to be the primary cause of type 2 diabetes in people who are genetically predisposed. Thus, overweight people have increased levels of glucose circulating in their blood. The pancreas is an organ which produces hormones that control blood glucose levels. The hormones that control blood glucose are produced by clusters of cells in the pancreas called islets. Here glucose is shown arriving at the islets via the bloodstream. The glucose is taken up by cells in the islet called beta cells. The beta cells respond by producing the hormone insulin, which lowers blood glucose. In type 2 diabetes, high levels of glucose stimulate the beta cells to produce lots of insulin to lower the blood glucose levels. The insulin is taken up by the blood vessels for transport to muscle, liver and fat, where it allows those tissues to absorb glucose. Hi hey guys, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin. Today I'm going to talk to you about which type of diabetes is more dangerous. Let's get started. Before we do that, I'm going to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist and see uh, I have a lot of patients in my clinic and I love educating my patients. That's why we do these videos. If you like them, please subscribe, please share this video uh, and spread the word. Now, which one is more dangerous? Which one is more dangerous? I would say type two. And here's why. Type one diabetics, if they are actually good type one diabetics, if they know what they're doing, if their blood sugar is under control, they will never have problem with their diabetes. Yes, it's inconvenient. Yes, they have to take insulin all the time, etc., etc. But the bottom line is, they will, as long as they manage it well, the chances of complications from type 1 diabetes is very low. Um, as long as they keep their A1C down and so forth. Now with type 2 diabetes, on the other hand, by the time they get diagnosed, they have typically something called insulin resistance. Now, insulin resistance is the main problem. Uh, diabetes comes later. Now, insulin resistance is the main reason why a lot of diabetics end up having heart attacks and strokes, why they end up losing so many years from their life, even if their diabetes is well controlled. So. Uh, of course, if it is not well controlled, they are going to suffer way more. Uh, but sometimes by the time they have a diagnosis of diabetes, they already have underlying cardiovascular disease. They already have underlying neuropathy. They already have underlying eye disease, sometimes even kidney disease. So nowadays we catch diabetes pretty early, thankfully, with the screenings and all that good stuff. But definitely uh, a lot of type 2 diabetics, when they get diagnosed, uh, if it is a slow process, they tend to uh, push it away or put, get into a denial uh, and they don't control it for the first five, 10 years until their blood sugars go really out of whack and then they, or, or, on, or they start having complications, they hit the wall and they start saying, oh, well, maybe I should do something. 